Yep, it's 5.50. Uh, yeah, I woke up really early for an 8 a.m. pickup. I don't live that far from the Apple store. I just have kids that have to go to school before I go to the Apple store. But my main question that I'm going to be answering in this video, is there any way to get glasses to work with the Vision Pro? I mean, Apple claims that it's just not possible. That's why they have the inserts. But I'm still going to try it and just see. Like, I don't expect it to be comfortable, but I still want to see, will they even fit over top of my face with my glasses on? It's Vision Pro Day! It's five in the morning! What? It's actually six. Uh -huh. Have a good day at school! walking um, to my local Apple store to see what the line looks like this morning and to pick up my Vision Pro. Oh, it's cold. Oh, wow. There's a, there's a decent amount of people out there. Not too bad. All right, here it is. They have a custom bag for it and everything. This thing looks insane. The box is so huge. Now I got to get back home and get it set up. The size of the box of this thing is insane. I mean, as you can tell, it's almost as big as my little table that I use for these videos. So let's go ahead, open it up and just see what's all inside. It was funny watching them put this in the box. They basically have to put it upside down and go over top of it with the bag to make it easier to put on just because it's just, it's huge. It was about a 15 minute process. Me and another guy were the first ones there. So it, it took a little while for them to even bring this thing out. It was the first thing in the morning they had just opened. I'm sure that process will get faster. These pull tabs are thick. Wow. Um, also, they do demos. You can go in and schedule a demo and get a demo of the unit to figure out how it all works. If you are buying one, you can go through a demo and you can even do a fit test before you actually leave the store with it. I declined both of those. The guy next to me did do a fit test. It didn't take any time at all. They basically just bring one out that is on like a little stand and let you try it on. Oh, holy cow. This thing is heavy. Wow. So here it is. This is it right here. This is crazy. So the one that they did the fit test on that didn't have this cover on the whole time while the guy was using it, it looks like there is a couple little pull things right here to take this extra piece off. It's not that heavy. I mean, it is, it is definitely heavy, but it's not, it's not awful. So let's put that to the side real quick. And then this just pops up once again. I mean, that is just crazy. But remember, these things are starting out at $3,500. So of course they're gonna charge a lot. Um, a lot of paperwork. From what I hear, there is actually no stickers 
according to MKBHD, that's the one I watched. Um, and then this is the other band. So this band actually has the loop around the back and over top. So if you need, if you're going to be wearing it for long periods of time, that one probably is going to work better. And then the battery is right here. So this gets charged up through USB-C. Um, I also heard you can actually remove this cable with, it's got like a little SIM card um, pin. You can actually pop that in and the cable will come off. And then you just got a charger and a 30 watt charging brick. And this is another seal. So they usually give you a thinner one and a thicker one because these actually just pop right off, which is insane. And it's all magnetized just like that, like crazy. So they give you another one in case the other one, in case you just need a little extra. Let's see, let's pull this off because I'm somebody, I'm one of those people that like to make sure everything is, you know, well kept. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. That's, huh. So they're not calling this MagSafe, but it does connect with the magnet. You kind of just pop it into the side. Let's try that right now. So it somehow goes into the side and then you turn it. Oh, you can see it's got a little dot right there. So you put it right there and then turn. So I don't think there's any, there's no power button on the battery pack itself. It just turned on and you can see it lit up and I'm sure this is turning on as well right now. And oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, so be very careful when you try to pull off this. Probably just pull it like that. And there you go. Oh, this is thick too, man. Everything. Um, but here it is with the screen. Oh, there's the Apple logo. Oh, it just showed the Apple logo. That was really cool. Um, and that's it. Like that's that's what you get in the box. But will it fit with glasses? All right, so the real question that I've been asking myself, and maybe you have too, is can I wear this with glasses? From what I hear, no. It's, I mean, there's not much room in here at all, but let's go ahead and try. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, it is just way too tight in there. I mean, my glasses aren't that thick. Let's try. This is a different cover. I don't know if this one's any larger. In case you were curious, yes, I did edit this entire video with the Vision Pro connected to my Mac. And that experience is just amazing. Oh, that's crazy. Somehow that should... Oh, pull up that. All right, this one looks a little bit bigger, but I still don't think it's going to do. So this is a medium. I'm guessing this is a medium plus. So they have little labels right there on them. You can see it says M plus. So it's all magnets, which is just so cool. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> it's so tight. Oh, almost. No, I'm going to break my glasses. So yeah, you will need to get those optical inserts to actually be able to wear these, which kind of bites, but it's understandable. I'm just going to go put on some contacts and try this out. If you have any questions about this device, please comment down below. Let me know. I want to make a few videos for sure. Definitely. This is such a unique device. So comment down below and let me know what you want me to cover with this device. I hope you have a great one. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.